Who is this one? Um, IG. Okay. I better help me hold this. If somebody's blocking me, come down. Okay. Uh, for good and not the good, can you give us um, um, you know, details of what happened? Today, as usual, in all cases I handle, God was again in the tomb. He knew what he knows is how best to do. And throne justice and fair play to ensure that his creatures and creation that do this media. It is in Lamentations 3, 37. Who is he that speaketh and it cometh to pass? If God has not commanded it. Today, this court, the Honorable Justice, he appointed him, he granted all the reliefs suffered by man's mind, not the kind of mind. That's what they call The young Nigerian patriot. He both self determination Zan, who was extraordinarily, illegally, unconstitutionally, torturously, brutally, renditioned from Kenya back to Nigeria on the 27th of June 2021. Today, the court agreed with us that the relief we ask for must be granted and the job granted. What we are dealing with that now the canon be allowed access to medical doctors of his own choice, as earlier also ruled by this honorable court since October 2021. But which ruling was continuously, serially, and contumaciously breached by the SSS. Today, the court ruled that he was entitled to have access to his medical practitioners of his own choice, and that these medical practitioners should be present whenever any examination or procedure is to be done on Mazi Nabi outside the facilities of the SSS and that such examination or procedure should be recorded should be recorded she made that order she also made the order that all his medical records should be made available to him because in any event, it is the right of a patient to have access to and see his medical records so that he can always have a review and update on these medical records. She couldn't see why such a simple demand should be denied him. The SSS had filed a preliminary objection that this action was similar to the one earlier filed before this court and also before the court in Umwanya Federal. The court held that that was not true. That the parties may be similar 
but that the course of action was certainly different. Because in that action, Mazin Nandi Kano had sought for the enforcement of his fundamental human rights, which were granted by the Federal High Court in Umuahia, sitting in Umuahia. And guess what? The court had imposed a fine, damages of 500 million naira against the federal government of Nigeria, which, as I speak to you, has never been paid. And it begins to take steps to enforce that judgment. Since the only branch we have held out in the last two years has not been responded to. But that, on the other hand, the case before this court today was for an order of mandamus to compare a public agency, which is the DSS, to carry out its duty, which it has refused to carry out as laid down by law. After we wrote the letters, two letters, in October and November 2022, urging them to carry out what the court has today granted. They refused. So the court held that the two sources were different one from the other. And that the earlier judgment before the Federal High Court, Umwaya Judicial Division, is not the same as the judgment she granted, she delivered today. So the court granted all our reliefs. Now the canon should now have access to his medical records, which so far have become a voodoo, which so far have become a mirage, which so far have become like an apparition, like a ghost which so far have become like a subject matter of witches and wizards operating in a coven, not being seen by the patient himself, Mazina the Kano, by his, by his parents, by his family members, by we, his lawyers, we will now have access to this medical record. We want to know what is it the SSS and the IG. Why is his protection level oscillating like a yo-yo? And they increase the dose, dosage now and again. Why have they made now become a guinea pig of trial and error? Why has he now become not been well? Why did he develop EAA, which now requires an urgent surgery, recommended by the DSS medical doctor himself. A team of medical doctors of the DSS have now recommended that this guy's ear is failing and must be operated upon immediately, otherwise he will lose it. Why is his heart not in position? A heart that suffers mistakes, a heart that suffers palpitation, a heart that was made worse through the torture he went through in Kenya when he was captured, kidnapped, abducted, kept in a dingy confinement for eight days, blindfolded, chained, and then extraordinarily rendition in a private jet back from Kenya to Nigeria since June 27, 2021. What is it that you have been hiding? We will now get an road judgment, a road copy of this judgment of today. It's not a road, it's a judgment. We wrote it and I write a formal letter to the DSS between June. 27 and now, today, the 28th, day of July 
2023, two years later, we want to see the records of Abdullah Bikani. We want to see what has been happening to his body. Because there are no two human beings. Once you die, they are gone forever. So this judge will be commended for her continuous courage and bravado in these times that try men's souls, in these times that try women's souls, to the extent that her earlier judgment was not only upheld by the Court of Appeal on the 13th of October 2022, but that the Court of Appeal went ahead to strike out the remaining seven count charges that she had remained. And by the way, the same federal government in an unprecedented manner went to the same court of appeal before another panel to obtain a state of execution. In a criminal matter, using, using civil authorities, civil rules and authorities to obtain a state of execution in a criminal matter, in a matter, in a way and manner that is unprecedented, uncharted. We have testing that already at the Supreme Court. Can you stay execution of the liberty of a citizen? America will go out of its way to any country in the world to go and take out its own citizen. But here we have a Nigerian government stealing the execution of the relief to release its own citizen, saying your fundamental rights should not be enforced. A government, a whole government that should protect its citizen, a government that has been defiant against reason, against sense, against sensibility against good conscience, against morality, against the OAU advice that in Africa will be released, against the United Nations Human Rights Committee, that in Africa will be released, and not only to be released, but be paid adequate damages for the illegal and unconstitutional and torturous arrest and detention. Against the 34 page letter I wrote to Mr. the then Mr. President, General Muhammad Buhari, in October 2021, pleading with him genuflectively to release him and the camera against all my television appearances, against all my various lectures at different fora, including during the Uzuko Umuna lecture in Lenugo earlier this year, pleading passionately that the then President Buhari should release Nadi Kano to his family. The federal government has refused to work up to date. Now the canoe's release, we rather bring about peace and tranquility to our land. If it not cause any ruckus or any commotion, it is his continuous detention that actually causes the tension you are seeing in the southeast. In now the canoe does not believe. In the sit down at home on Mondays, he has told me as his lead counsel, as his lawyer, that he does not believe in it, that he cannot be fighting for his people and be shutting down their economy. How do they feel? How would they train their children? Many a time he cried to me in my presence that he wants to be released so that he can hold the World Press Conference and address the Indigo and the Allied Group and the entire world to say, don't stay at home on Mondays, go about your normal duties, work. 
because the Bible tells us it is upon the fruits of your hand. I will bless you the labor of your hand. So I'm now re-echoing it again and again what now the canoe has told me. He does not believe in that seed at all or more days, which cripples the social, economic, cultural, political life of the people, putting them under psychical, psychological, mental structure and torture. And the point must again be made, even if for the opt-in time, for record purposes, because they are all they are bound in a large number, what you call historical revisionists, who would want to revise history and make us to have selective amnesia, or make us to be like the bubbles of European history that learned nothing and forgot nothing to the extent that even after the Treaty of Versailles. In 1918, during the end of the First World War, leading to the enactment of the League of Nations, the Second World War still broke out between 1940 and 1945, which now led to institutionalization of the United Nations organization in 1948. What is that truth? It is that now the canoe was granted bail and he was enjoying the bail, acceding to all the conditions for the bail. He did not jump bail. He remained in Nigeria. His case was to come up sometime in October. But between 14th and 17th of September, 2017, Particularly on the 17th, the, particularly on the 14th, the federal government threw a question Python dance. A Python that never danced against Boko Haram. A Python that has never danced against armed bandits. A Python that has never da danced against kidnappers. A Python that has never danced against hunger against Quello, against abject penury, a pattern that has never danced against a pilot's economy, palace economy, against against a pattern that never danced against corruption, which has made Nigeria one of the most corrupt nations in the world, number 148, and the second most corrupt country in West Africa. Now become his ancestral home. And Afarauko, Ibeko, Umwagia, and their state, with his family, when Operation Python dance, danced, wriggled, and danced sensationally to his ancestral home and bombarded the home, like during the civil war between Biafra and Nigeria. And now, had he went immediately and landed in the state of Israel, where he quickly swore to an Afrika I have been forced to flee from my country. Anytime the federal government gives me the green light, I am ready to return to face my child. The father and the mother never recovered from this military invasion that left 28 innocent Nigerians mowed down, killed down, killed in cold blood. Then you came here to say he jumped bail. How do you say a person fleeing for his life jumped bail? If now the can had been killed in that of provoked invasion, we won't be here today talking. They will know they, they, because we don't try dead people in the graves. That same God who has been on the throne will continue to be on the throne until Nabi Kano is released. And even after Nabi Kano is released. And in Nabi Kano, read my lips. We and she and must be released in the mighty name 
of our Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. The reason is simple. There is nothing impossible before God. Anything that God cannot do does not exist. Go and read Genesis 18.15. Go and read Jeremiah 32.27. Behold, I am the God of all flesh. Is there anything too hard for me to do? Nothing. Nothing. And nothing. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you.